Commercial Cyber Warfare President Trump gave green light to sell a part of Chinese TikTok shares to American companies, promising that information about American citizens will be kept on American computers in the United States. And all this is a part of bigger struggles in the virtual realm around the so-called big data, an enormous collection of information about people's behavior that later on serves different interests, commercial, military, and so on. Their countries like China where it's forbidden to download different applications. So as a capitalist, when you see all of this cyber warfare that didn't exist in the past, where is this leading the world to? Human beings became a tool in the hands of tremendous forces. In our time, it's not bombs or anything, but it's war over data. It's like in the past, wars were fought with tanks and aircraft, and today we fight virtual wars where you control armies, countries, the entire planet. With a push of a button, you can blow up different places around the world. You can stop power plants, activate tanks and bombs and missiles, everything. So, what follows is that the human brain is becoming very valuable. If in the past force was especially physical, now it's the power of intellect. Yeah, and this is going on for quite some time now. There are people with big heads and thin fingers sitting with their keyboards, doing things that Look, not only from the perspective of wars, if we take a look at what's going on in the world since the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic, plenty of fields are collapsing and only high-tech is going and growing, doubling and tripling its income. Where is this leading the world? The world's becoming a technological world that if you're strong in technology, then that's it, everything's open for you? Of course, because by that you activate everything, crops in the field, factories. It's like you hear that one country took over another country by starting to control its water supplies and electricity and infrastructures and so on. Exactly. So, where is this all headed? To bad places? Where did you ever see something good coming from our development? I thought that if a person grows smarter, don't be naive. How is it possible, if we're all egoists, then what can come from our development? Only bad things. What has to change? Man's character? For him to be smarter, less smart? For him to be different? For him to know that he has to do good to everyone, and then he too will be well off. And not that he'll do good to himself, and eventually he harms everyone, including himself. Will we ever get this? I wish, but I don't think so. I expect that such blows like the coronavirus will come and will paralyze us, so much so that we'll feel that we're tied up, so we can't move, exactly, and will also calm us down. Yeah, and then we'll be able to explain what the method of correction is, and they'll listen.